got him. Oh, yeah. Look at this thing. Today I'm going to test these real-time baits. If you want to get some, it's at www.realtimebait.com. Guys, go check them out. But they sent me a little goodie bag. And what do we got here? Today, I'm going to be using these. I'm going to see if I can get some peacock bass. Let me open it up. When you go to the site, you can actually make custom colors and flavors. So you can customize the baits to your liking. So when these things are in the water, the tail whips really nicely and all these ridges create a lovely vibration that the fish seem to be attracted to. So I've had a lot of luck with these. Um, he just sent me these new ones that he says have been upgraded a little bit or modified a little bit. So we're gonna test them out. Perfect baits, man. Fresh water, salt water, I use them for both. I've actually caught snook on these as well. Snapper, barracuda, but uh, for today, going for some largemouth or some peacock bass. So I came out here to catch some bass, but when I pulled up, there's a bunch of big carp swimming around. I've never used my uh, new Shimano. I got the Shimano rod and reel uh, combo. I see some carp that are flared up. I have one piece of dried up bread right here, bottom of the bag. You can see it's, it's hard and flaky. I can't even fold it, it's so dry. So I'm just gonna kind of hook it through like a piece of bait, just like that, see what happens. While I'm waiting for the bite, you know, I want to give a uh, shout out to the winner of the last trivia question. And the winner is that guy Swab. Congrats. You're the winner of the lures and the Nines Optics keychain. So uh, shoot me a message and I'll get them sent out to you. So while I'm editing, I realized I forgot to tell you guys that there is another trivia question at the end of this video. And today we are actually going to be giving away an SA buff. So it's a camo SA buff. All you gotta do is watch the video and answer the trivia questions at the end and I will select a lucky winner to be shouted out and to win this buff. Got him, got him. <laughs> this is the donkey. Oh, I'm off the camera. This is the donkey, guys. Hopefully you got that hook set on camera. I'm not sure. It's a GoPro, so it's pretty wide. Woo! This is one of the biggest carp I've ever caught. Let's see if I can show this thing off a little bit. Right down there. Coming up, coming up, coming up. There he is. Thing is massive. Oh, On the Shimano. Beast, beast, beast. He's at least 20 pounds. Whew. Tighten drag down a little bit. I love it. I love it. That is a monster, guys. Absolute beast of a freaking carp. Let me see if I can land him here. Whoop, he's still got energy. What I'm trying to do is just force him to change direction. Wear him out a little bit. Whew. Good thing I just bought a big net because that's a monster. All right, let me set the camera up right here. I think this is possibly my personal best carp. Barely hooked though, so let me see if I can get him in. Oh yeah. 
Look at this thing. Look at this thing. Woo! Wow. You can't tell me that's not a big carp. I'm a size 12. Look at that. There it is. Right in the corner of the mouth. Massive carp. Boom. Let me get this thing out. Just like that. Man, this rod is nice. Perfect hook set, perfect firmness, nice drag. Love it. Now I'm gonna put them back in the net, dip them back down, and uh, let them slide out into the water. That way I don't have to throw them in. What do you say? That's not too bad for my first fish on the Shimano. I'm about to pass out because I forgot to bring water, but uh, yeah. I don't even know if I want to catch bass right now. But all I did, a 1-0 hook, a 15-pound fluorocarbon, and some bread. That's it. And the hook, I just had a, your basic cinch knot. Just let the bread go out there, hook it so that the bread will still float because a lot of times the carp want to come on and hit the bread or hit their food on top of the water because they eat berries that float grass and different things that come up to the surface and float you know you'll get them underneath as well but it's a lot easier if you have the patience to just drift some bread along and allow them just to come up and eat oh man that that changed the whole game plan for today i was gonna go bass fishing but man when you see a big fish like that sitting there you just gotta you gotta go for it. Good thing I had these nines on because I would have walked right past them without seeing them underneath the surface. I don't know if you can see them, but there's orange Midas cichlids all through this waterway here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and match the hatch. Because of the, those cichlids, that's why we actually have peacock bass here. They were actually introduced to the waters here back in 1984 to help control the invasive species. So one of the biggest peacock bass I ever caught was on a small orange cichlid. So I'm gonna try and match the hatch with the real-time baits because I do believe he gave me something that matches what my needs are. So I'm gonna throw this on, toss it out there and see if we can get a fish. There you go. Beautiful peacock bass. Let's see if we can get another one. Knocked off my bait, so I'm gonna actually switch to the other color and see if that one works as well. All right, there's a peacock bass right over there. He's just looking at the bank. Let me see if I can uh, get this for you guys. Grass right here. There it is, another peacock bass. Today was extremely rainy and then once the rain went away, it was extremely hot. So I'm gonna call it quits today. But it is time for the trivia question of the day. So trivia question number one guys, who provided me with the lures that I was using today? And question number two guys, 
what rod and reel combo did I use for the first time today and what type of fish did I catch with it. Make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell. I got a lot more videos to come. Lexi's getting ready to film some more videos with me too. So again, subscribe, hit that notification bell, leave some comments, share the video whenever you can. And as usual, tight lines, have a great day and all that good stuff, guys. I'll see you next time. They say I be swagging and slaying in fashion. Feel like King Arthur, I just laid a dragon. My jig on the bottom, I ain't even snagging. Slay like a savage, we're slicking the best.